France, Belgium, and Australia. Not typically dangerous places to travel, but all have seen deadly acts of terrorism in just the past month. I spoke with Marshall students to see if this affects their decision to study abroad. I would need to feel safe and secure before I, went, before I could trust in going over there. Safety while abroad isn't just a concern for students, but also the people organizing their trips. I think regardless of where you are in the world, whether it be in the United States or internationally, being vigilant of your surroundings is always important. This is especially important considering the recent intelligence that as many as 20 terrorist sleeper cells in France, Germany, Belgium, Greece, and the Netherlands could be poised to strike. Study abroad coordinator Ryan Warner says Marshall's program takes precautions to keep students out of harm's way. We do not send any students anywhere where there is a uh, government mandated travel warning. At this current time, there, there's nothing to really be worried about when it comes to traveling overseas academically. Nonetheless, there can still be nerves. It's concerning as a tourist who is already going to be in a place that's unfamiliar to me. Um, it will be, I mean, it's nerve wracking, um, especially if it's a contentious place where lots of dangerous things are happening. Abby Pullen plans to travel through Belgium while she is in Europe this summer. But in light of the recent activation of multiple terrorist cells there, she says she may reroute. If it gets worse, I think I would probably change my plans. Um, if it becomes especially dangerous. Professor of Political Science Dr. Mary Beth Beller says the best way to stay safe is to stay informed. There are dangers. They are unpredictable. The first thing to do is to check with the American Embassy, right? If the Embassy assesses that it is not safe for Americans to be in a place, they will absolutely issue a ban or a warning. If the Embassy is not doing that, consider it safe. Day-by-day -day international travel warnings can be found at this website, www.travel.state.gov. Rob Engel, MU Report.